top pack bottoms from So Sexy Originals, but you can use any shorts. This is just the shorts pattern that I'm using for the purpose of this video. Okay, so now that we have those pieces sewn together, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this out, right side facing out, and then um, make sure you know which side's the front and which side's the back. Um, for me, this shorter portion here is the front and then the longer is the back here. Um, just make sure if you need to pin that to remember, go ahead and do that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and add elastic into the waistband here and then we'll be ready to um, slice these up. I have found that cutting them before you sew this crotch piece together here makes it a lot easier. It just makes the shorts a little bit easier to deal with. Um, I also add rhinestones without this being sewn together just because it lays a little flatter um, when you don't sew that together first, but I'm going to go ahead and add that waistband elastic in and then we'll be ready to go ahead and add the slits to it. Okay, so I have my elastic sewn into the waistband there. Um, and then this little cut mat, I really need to go get a new one. It's got like fabric lint all over it from cutting stuff up. But um, I got this little cutting mat from Dollar Tree. It is nine by seven. Um, and I just use this to easily slide the pant leg or shorts over. Even if you did already sew your um, crotch together, it's still okay, because you can still do this, but I'm just gonna make sure we're doing it on the back. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to match up these two front seams, and then I'm going to clip it. These little clips also came from the Dollar Tree. They come in handy, because you just want the fabric to be taut for you to be able to cut it. And then I'm just going to make sure it's taut and I'm gonna clip it down on the bottom. Okay. okay, so now I've got this clip to our miniature cutting mat and then I'm just going to use my rotary cutter and I'm going to cut lines that are parallel with the waistline. And then since I didn't hem the bottom yet, I also wanna be careful to just not um, do slits super duper low um, so that when I do go to him, I'm not catching any um, of that him there. then I'm just gonna take it and dust off. Okay, so now I'm just gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to move this over. And then I'm just going to match the front seams and clip. And get this situated on this side. Clip it as well. Slightly pull on this here to make it taut. I'll slide this over just a smidge. Okay, so then I can see where I did these slits and you can count them if you need to either way. Then I'm just gonna do slits um, parallel to the waist again.
and again we just want to be sure not to go too low so we don't hit um that hem so i got one more Check these out. There you have it. Now I just need to go back and sew this here in him, and we're good to go on these. Okay, so we got our top finished here. I just added some rhinestone to the front, and then we got our shorts. I just added rhinestone to the front of these two, and we got our slits in the back. I'm gonna throw it on the mannequin so we can see what it looks like. But yeah, this is the finished product.